What's up everyone, Jack with the Drone DJ. I have the Sim2 Fairy Drone. This is a folding drone. It's got GPS, it's got a, an HD camera. The camera moves up and down. Brushless motors. So there's a lot of things that I really like about this drone. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what I don't like. First glance, a lot of things that I like. The GPS, the brushless motors, the size, the folding, uh, the camera specs. It should be a really good drone. I've got optical flow on the bottom. This thing specs out really well. What do I not like? Actually flying it. Uh, the app is goofy. It took me a few times to get it going. I had to use a couple of different SD cards uh, before I found one that actually would work with it. Um, Flying with just my phone, I had a range of like 10 feet. That's ridiculous. Uh, flying with uh, the remote control was a little bit better, but again, uh, kind of glitchy. There is no electronic image stabilization on this thing. It just is not worth the money. Um, maybe if it was $50, sure, but at $150, $175, do not buy this drone. What should you buy? I like the Rise Tello. Um, no, it doesn't have brushless motors, but for 100 bucks, that is your best bet. Um, it's similar in, to this in many ways, but the camera is actually better. It's stabilized uh, video. It has some different modes. It is not GPS, but it's pretty darn stable. Uh, the GPS on this was okay, but again, not going to recommend this thing. If you want something like this with brushless motors, I would take a look at the Unique Breeze. It's about this size, maybe a little bit larger, uh, but it has a better camera image stabilization for about $150. Another option might be the Zero Tech Davi. Uh, if you want something compact and small that folds up, very similar to this, but has a better camera with image stabilization, uh, you can fold it up and put it in your pocket. Now, I had some issues uh, with some newer versions of iPhones connecting to the Davi. Uh, hopefully that has been resolved, but uh, just something to keep in mind. So, would I recommend the Sim2 Ferry? Probably not. Would I recommend something else? Yeah, the Tello, the Breeze, the Dobby. Lots of different options, things that I would look at before buying one of these. So right here is the reason why I would not recommend this drone. You can see the image shakes quite a bit. There is no stabilization. The picture is bad. It's good HD quality, uh, but uh, I need image stabilization. Plus here, as I fly it, I'm trying to pull up. I, I need to gain altitude. I know I'm close to the ground, but it just is not responding I'm not this poor of a pilot, so uh, again, you got to be able to fly your drone confidently. Now, the camera's not bad, takes some pretty decent HD pictures, uh, but again, I just need something with a little bit more control, something that isn't going to glitch on me, something that I'm able to record all the time. So this was actually my first flight of flying it here, uh, and I just am not comfortable with how it's flying. It did not connect to the app the first time, so I don't have any FPV video of this speed, of this flight. Um, but, uh, you know, is it a decent drone? Eh, it could be if the software was better. You know, maybe Sim2 will send out an update and make it a better drone. Uh, but as of right now, I can't recommend it. I would recommend the Tello, the Dobby, the Breeze before I'd suggest that you go out and buy one of these Sim2 Fairy drones. Sounds like a great drone, specs out really well, it just doesn't turn out to be fantastic in application, which is really sad. I was excited for this thing, but ultimately it disappointed. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to The Drone DJ for more drone news and videos. Have a great day, happy flying.